to JJD TV. I'm your host Josh and we are back for another match preview episode. Today's episode we're obviously going to take a look at the upcoming game between Armenia Bielefeld and Borussia Dortmund. We're going to just kind of take a look at kind of key points of what I think is going to happen in today's match and give you guys our predictions. So taking a look at Bielefeld, we like to do a bit of history between Bielefeld and Dortmund. There isn't an extensively long one. The last game they played was in 2010. It was a 2 nothing victory for us. It was a friendly, so we're going to roll on over that. And we're going to jump right into the form. And Bielefeld's form is 3-0-1 right now for the league, so decent for them. I expected them to be a little bit worse. I predicted them in 18th place, dead last. So they're showing that they can play with some of the big boys. And taking a look at Dortmund, we're 4-0-1-1. On top of the fact that we had a good result against Zenit midweek in the Champions League. So we're coming in with what should be a, some, some momentum. So... What I want to see with this is, for the, this preview, is to go over Dortmund's team and hopefully just see a lot of the same. We've now won back-to-back -back games playing the 4-2-3-1, 5 goals for, 0 goals against, and we are playing great. So, predicting the lineup and what I kind of want to see for Dortmund, I obviously, as you expect, want to see the 4-2-3-1. I want to see Berkey in net. Nothing really need to touch on there. I'm a little interested because like we have a lot of games coming up and we've just played now four games the past two weeks. Some of these players are going to need rest. I'm not fully sure where to put it. So I'm going to start with Mounier. I think a lot of people have been calling for Passlack. Mounier has played a lot of minutes. So I'm going to ex expect to see Passlack maybe in that right back spot. I think Akanji and Hummels will still stay in the middle with Guerrero on the left. In our CDMs, I'm going to say Delaney. He got rested midweek and he's obviously just been playing great there and covering Guerrero. Dehoud has been playing fantastic well. I want to see him in this lineup. He's my guy going forward right now in that in that CDM CM role. And he only played 60 minutes. So he got he got pulled off for whether it was just resting for this game or just because he's getting a lot of minutes. I'm not fully sure or just get an attacking option, but I'm hoping he's sitting there right beside Delaney. Going as our cam, I'm gonna put Brandt. He was rested midweek. Royce played an RA game, but I mean just for, for rotation, it's it's gonna be hopefully Brandt's turn. We got Hazard coming back. He's looking to get obviously healthy. I think they're going to put him on the left. Sancho on the right. Holland up front. I know Sancho and Holland's got a lot of minutes. I just, and they may get rested. I may be wrong. And Brandt's playing false nine. I'm not fully sure, but I'm hoping that these two can start. Maybe they only play 60 minutes to get yanked off. We got a, a good victory. I'm not fully sure, but that's kind of what I'm expecting slash hoping to see. And then taking a look at some of the key matchups that we always do. Looking at Mike Vanderhorn for Armenia Bielefeld, he's their center back there. I know a little bit about him from playing at Swansea, and I haven't seen a lot of a Bielefeld play last year or this year, so just going off of some players I'm kind of familiar with, I think he's a decent center back, and I'm going to partner him up with uh, probably Sancho. I think Sancho broke his his duck. He, he goes on a bit of a goal scoring route and got that beautiful composed penalty, and I'm hoping just to get some momentum going and seeing how we can really run at defenders in this game, so I think Sancho will definitely be one to watch. I think he's now got, got a taste in his mouth and hopefully he can get back on, on the goal track. And Vanderhorn will be the one to try to stand in his way. Switching it, looking the other way, I want to keep an eye on Manuel Akanji. For us, Akanji has jumped back in and he has really settled Hummels beside him as a in a back two. And I think those two are thriving off each other. He had an excellent game against Zenit midweek and I think he's key to, to us keeping another clean sheet. He's going to be going up against Fabian Close. Close is their captain, he's their skipper, he put up, I think, 27 goals last season in Bundesliga 2. He hasn't scored this year yet, so he's going to be really hoping to get off, and I think he's going to be the toughest attacking threat coming from Bielefeld for us to keep an eye on, so those two are the ones that I'm keeping an eye on there. And that's what I'm hoping to see and some of the players to kind of watch out for. So, like we always do at the end of our match preview episodes, we're going to get into the predictions. And just so you guys know, I predicted the Schalke and Dortmund game 3-0, nailed it, and I predicted the Dortmund Zenit game 2-0, so I'm on a bit of a roll here, so I'm hoping to keep that one going, but we're going to start off with the Schalke and Stuttgart game, and I'm going to go with a 2-0 win for Stuttgart. Looking at the Cologne and Bayern game, I'm going to go for a 3-1 win for Bayern. Looking at the Augsburg and Mainz game, I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for Augsburg. Looking at the Frankfurt and Bremen game, I'm going to go for a 3-2 win for Frankfurt, high scoring, scoring game there. For probably the matchup of the weekend between Gladbach and Leipzig, I'm going to go for a bounce back performance from Leipzig. 3-1 for Leipzig. Looking at the Freiburg and Leverkusen game, I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for Leverkusen. Looking at the 
Hertha Berlin and Wolfsburg game, I'm going to go for a 2-1 win for Wolfsburg. Looking at the Hoffenheim and Union Berlin game, I'm going to go for a 2-0 win for Hoffenheim. And finally, our boys, Borussia Dortmund versus Armenia Bielefeld. I want to keep the streak going because I've just nailed two in a row. So I'm going to say a 2-0 win again for Borussia Dortmund. I was thinking maybe 3-1, but I want to keep the momentum and the clean, sh clean sheet going. So that's what I'm going to say. So with that, it comes the end to our match preview between Armini Bielefeld and Borussia Dortmund. Let me know what you guys think about your predictions for the week, as well as the formation I touched on, some of the key players, and even your predictions. And if you're new around here, guys, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you next time.